This video is on the first step of what you have to do when you're shortening a garment. The tools you're going to need are a tape measure, some pins, some kind of marking tool, either chalk or you can use soap is a good alternative, or you can always use a dressmaking pen or pencil and a safety pin. First off, you're going to want to decide how short you want to shorten your garment to by having a fitting. And I recommend you then mark where you want the hem to finish with a safety pin as this won't fall out when you come to take off the garment. On this garment, I know I'm going to shorten it the same amount the whole way round. So I've only put in one safety pin so I don't get confused with different measurements. But if you know that you're going to have different measurements, say you want to have a longer back and a higher at the front, you would mark these with separate safety. So we're going to be working from the inside of a garment, another good reason to have a safety pin, because when you turn it through to the inside of the garment, you know you're not going to lose your pin. So we're working from the inside. I'm going to now measure from the current end of the garment to where the safety pin is. That is 10 centimeters. That is the um, going to where I want my hem to finish at. So I need to allow for seam allowance. So I want to, in this circumstance, I'm going to do a two centimeter hem. So that means I will need to remove eight centimeters. So I'm now just going to take a mental note that I am going to be marking at eight centimeters around this top. To make sure that my hem is going to be even all the way around, like a nice smooth line, I'm actually going to fold the garment in half, matching up the side seams. So here's my garment folded in half with the side seams matching up here. And here is my centre back and centre front where I've still got my safety pin in at the moment. Um, and now I'm just going to pop in a few pins to just keep this secure whilst I'm doing my marking. So I've just popped in a few pins just to keep both sides together and I know that they're nice and lined up. It's all nice and flat and now I'm ready to mark out. So I'm going to measure up from the hem eight centimeters and make a mark. This line that I'm marking is my cut line. And I know I don't need to mark the actual finished hemline because I know that's going to be two centimeters shorter than where I'm cutting. So I'm just going along the hem and making a mark so I get a nice line all the way around my garment that I can follow to cut. Um, at this point here, it's a bit of a angle. So I'm gonna try and smooth that line out a little bit so it's easier for me to cut and then it'll end up with a nice finish. So now I've um, just gone over this with the just making pen so that it's easier for you to see. But you can see now I've got a nice line for me to cut on and I would keep the pins in to make sure that they stay together and it's on equal on both sides but just obviously move the pins out of the way of your cutting line. And that is ready to be cut. 